might have experienced it. You're finishing up your day hike, going back to your car, and you're just gonna turn around, and boom, you're stuck. Well, I'm gonna show you a way to get home free by yourself. Well, you should need some basic equipment like a rope. This is a discarded climbing rope, which I'm gonna use for simplicity and visibility. I do have some ropes and straps there which I can combine together to make a long enough uh, self-rescue rope. But first of all, I need my axe and my saw. I always carry a set in the car. Never know. So let's help ourselves. the rope from uh, from the week oh put your one log like this this is a uh, birch it's between uh, two and four inches thick if you use spruce or something else which is more breakable you may go more towards um, four inches thick but this is a uh, birch should be good enough do like this See? And put your on one side, and on the side where the loop is, there is it's, it's where the log should come in, like this. Okay, tension it up a little bit, like that. And now this is going to our anchor point. I okay, hope you can hope you can see a rope here. It's under, over, under, and remember to put both of these on the same side. If you put one on this side and one on this side, this big one will twist also, and you won't be able to uh, pull when it's going to get tough. Okay, so let's start over there. This is called a flip-flop winch. And I guess you can figure out why. It's very effective. So now you can see you start to get some tension in this. And then yeah, then you use a piece of cord, stick around the rope, and you have this locking loop. So it won't come back. And do the same on the other side.
pickups like this took care of. And then not paying attention. But now I feel it's getting easier and easier, so it seems that I managed to pull the car out of out of the hole. Meters. And you can see the rope is winding up. You see at the start there I had some issues. Uh, I didn't get this real pattern where the anchor point direction and the vehicle direction are lined up. If they get uneven, then you will have this terrible force in this this one. Also, including that. Then you will have big problems if you're doing it alone. So when you get this like this, nicely wind up, and you uh, be man manage to pull up a almost two-ton vehicle from a hole. So now I'm going to back up my car and see if I'm able to move. If not, I have to win some more. So I'll back up to untension the rope. <laughs> This is a method you can use to, to get free yourself. Remember the knot I used here? I have pulled a really heavy car and I can open it very easy. Just take a loop and the one on the bottom, you make a new loop. And even one more, as many as you want. It's uh, it's very good. Now to this part. Try to get this this one loose first. Like that. Then you can, should should be able to wind it up that way. But I messed up at the start, so it's not possible. But I could do like this. It's no problem. You don't need a fancy rope like uh, this or a static climbing rope or uh, some special towing ropes to do this. It's not necessary. You manage very long with a rope like this. I could have used this but it's a little bit short so I choose, chose not to. If you don't have enough you can use this one. You can hook it up with this. This is a towing rope. This should uh, should be good. And you can also combine it with several layers of this thinner one. Uh, use your imagination. You can also use uh, like straps like this. They are very heavy duty also. So there are many, many, many ways of doing this. You don't need fancy ropes, fancy off-road uh, equipment or something to. To manage but I suggest that you have some kind of minimum of equipment in your car especially if you are like me or drive off into more uh, well less populated areas and maybe you don't have uh, signal coverage on your cell phone either so then it's very important that you are able to manage yourself you can use it for anything that you need to, to pull. You can use this. I would not recommend it for hoisting because uh, if you lose it, something will go down very fast. So for pulling on the ground, it's it's uh, it's genius method. So um, it's called a flip flop winch because you're flipping and flopping all the time. And I don't know who's the inventor but uh, 
I think it has been used for many many years maybe since the rope was invented so uh, I don't know uh, yeah so that's it hope you liked it well this was a bit uh, different uh, crisscross video but I think this kind of video fits into place with this modern bushcraft thing because uh, I'm not the only one who have to go by car into the forest area to uh, to, uh, to practice what we love this might happen to you uh, you know shit happens so so uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed and and you try it yourself in practice it's uh, it's a good workout and and it works so so good luck and I'll see you later